Potter wasps build a jug-shaped pot, which they fill with geometric caterpillars. Understandably, potter wasps will benefit if their nests are located where predators, such as birds, are unlikely to find them. So I was somewhat surprised when a potter wasp built a cluster nest on a discarded block of concrete beneath a tree. Although exposed to predators, the location was ideal for videotaping the wasp. To get a feel for the number of caterpillars stored in each pot, I gently cracked open one of the sealed chambers exposing nine caterpillars. But not for long. Surprisingly, the wasp immediately began to repair the damage. She also laid a second egg and added a caterpillar to the pot. But why bother to lay an additional egg given that there isn't room in the pot for two developing larvae? The answer says a lot about the inflexibility of wasps. Not only are the behaviors of wasps genetically programmed, their expression typically follows a precise sequence. Understandably, the walls of a nest are built first, or in this case, repaired. The wasp is then compelled to build an elaborate lip-shaped entrance. And before the entrance can be sealed, two more tasks are scrupulously performed, laying an egg and adding food to the nursery. Only then can the nest be sealed with mud. Yet, not all tasks that wasps perform are easy, nor are the nests that they build simple structures. By using mud as a building material, wasps can mold the shape of a nest to suit their needs, and often do so with exacting precision. Take, for instance, the flanged entrance of a potter wasp nest. By rapidly vibrating its mandibles in the wet mud, a wasp can sculpt the shape of the portal to minimize the damage to the soft cuticle of the caterpillars that will later be stuffed through the opening. Piercing the skin could kill a caterpillar and in turn contaminate all of the nursery's contents. After the wasps sealed the last pot, it started to add mud to the entire cluster. This extra step seemed obsessive. Was the wasp trying to reinforce the walls of the nest, or perhaps obscure the outline of the pots to confuse predators? Whatever the reason, no wasps emerged from the nest. Unfortunately, a northern cardinal and common grackle broke open all of the pots to eat the caterpillars. How did the birds know that the globs of mud contained food? Were they watching the wasps provision the pots? Not surprisingly, whenever a new discovery is made, a list of intriguing questions remain to be investigated. 